we live in a world where more people die from water contamination than all forms of violence, including war. Now, this may sound like a plot to a bad disaster movie, and it's sad but true that our access to clean drinking water is rapidly diminishing. With environmental catastrophes such as lead contamination, as seen in Flint, Michigan, to oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico, our water is far from ready to drink. So how do we clean it up? What if I told you there were tiny nanomachines that could track a pollutant, eliminate it, and then decay once its mission was complete? Science fiction, right? Turns out they're all around us. But we call them bacteria. There are a vast array of microorganisms that can break down water pollutants. They take something that would cause cancer to you and I and turn it into something benign. Now that's the good news. The bad news is, is that it's actually quite difficult to identify these beneficial microbes. Current methods are slow and costly. But that's where I come in. My research focuses on developing a rapid test kit that can identify these beneficial microbes in the environment. How I do it is by looking for their enzymes. An enzyme is something that catalyzes a reaction. If you can identify the enzyme that can break down a contaminant, you've just found your good microbe. So how the kit works is I'm developing a fluorescent compound that can bind with the enzyme. When there's a fit, sort of like a lock and key, the cell lights up. And I can measure the intensity of that light and correlate it to how much good bacteria there are in a sample. Now the idea for this kit is actually quite similar to a pregnancy test. In the same way the hormones in a woman's urine sample bind with the pregnancy test to produce a line, the enzymes in the microbial cells bind with the fluorescent compound to produce a light. Because microbes that can break down contaminants many times have very similar enzymes, this kit could be used as a screening tool for a variety of different contaminants and bacteria. And what we can do with this kit in the real world is we can go out to a contaminated site and test for our potentially heroic bacteria and either optimize their growth or transport them to a different contaminated site. The bacteria are out there. We just have to locate them. And this kit does just that. I am truly optimistic that these tiny bacteria are the heroes we need to clean our water. Thank you. <laughs>